I'm Todd from HomeConstructionImprovement.com. Today I want to talk to you about my Delta 3 horsepower dust collector model 50-763. I've just built this new shop and um, I'm really you know, enjoying how well it's working out and one of the great features of this new shop is my dust collection system. Dust collection is an extremely important part of any uh, wood shop um, and it's, it's the first way we can protect ourselves from the harmful effects of fine dust particles. I'm using the 3 horsepower dust collector for all the large particles. I'm also using Delta's air purifier for all the really small uh, dust particles as well, which I'll talk about in another video and another article. Today I just want to talk to you about how I've set up this dust collector, how I'm using it in my shop, and my thoughts on its performance. So stay tuned. I'm going to take you through the shop. I'm going to show you how it's set up downstairs in my garage. I'll talk about some of the ways that I set up the dust collection piping. And finally, my thoughts on how well it's been performing here in the shop. So thanks for uh, stopping by and enjoy the tour of my new wood shop and its dust collection that's being run by the Delta Model 50-763 Dust Collector. The new wood shop has several different um, dust collection setups. Here at the miter saw station, I'm using a combination of a hose hooked up to the, the miter saw and also a very large hood in the back. It's hooked up to a four inch line and at the miter saw it's set up so that I've actually got a blast gate down below the bench that's hooked up to, a, to an auxiliary fence that I can just open that or close it depending on whether or not I'm using it. Works really well. I'm probably collecting 90% of the dust at this workstation. Throughout the new wood shop I have actually located these uh, metal blast gates that are hooked up to a, a loop around the shop. They're all fed by a four inch um, line throughout the shop and I've set this up so that at every workstation I can I can hook up a hose hook up a piece of equipment and then when I'm done with it I can actually you know disconnect it put it away close up the gate easy access and um, really easy to use again those are set up throughout the shop uh, in about 12 different locations here's an example of one of those dust ports that I've set up this is actually set up right now with uh, I want a Rockler's Quick Connect so that I can uh, hook this up to a hose right now. It's hooked up for doing sweeping. And again, I can just open the gate, use it, you know, close the gate. I could actually remove this quick coupling um, and attach it to another device. Just one more feature on how I've set up the shop for uh, multiple uses with the dust collection. Okay, so now I'm down in the garage at the dust collector. You can see, you know, I'm kind of walking around the back side of my pickup truck at the moment but you can see the dust collection is set up to a flexible six inch hose that hose runs up and that that hose by the way is just so that I can pull out the dust collector roll it around and clean behind it then it goes up to a solid six inch PVC main trunk line and here I'm using SDR 35 sewer uh, capacity uh, PVC line and it goes up basically it tees off to one side of the shop you can see that T runs up that converts to a four inch line that runs down one side of the shop come over here tees off to another six inch line that goes back through the center of the shop to pick up the table saw and then lastly I run over to the other side of the shop with another four inch line that runs down the length of the shop all of this piping I worked pretty closely with Delta and they actually gave me some pointers on sizing um, and basically verified the sizing that I had come up with based on my machinery and there are a lot of online resources that tell you how to size the different ducts based on the machines and also the horsepower of the dust collector and that right there is basically my uh, dust collection ducting for this shop okay so here's my uh, Delta 3 horsepower dust collector. It's down in the garage as I said earlier and it's a, a two bag system. The large chips fall down into these lower uh, plastic bags. They sell more bags so you just when you're all done disconnect it, wrap up the bag and you can dispose of them. Uh, up top we've got the um, small particle filters and I've uh, set this thing up so that it's hooked up to a, a custom uh, six inch main trunk line. Now the, the original dust collector comes with a port on top that you can basically hook up four 
four inch hoses to. Um, because my shop is upstairs, I actually wanted a large trunk line running up there, so I modified it. Kids from a local uh, trade uh, school made, you know, welded up this uh, custom reducer for me. I've got a, a flexible hose hooked up and then uh, a main six inch uh, PVC trunk line running under the shop. Uh, I'll talk about PVC versus metal and all that jazz in another article. Tons of controversy on it. Um, I have my own opinions after doing a lot of research, so I'll share that with you. But right now, I'm talking about this dust collector. This thing is amazing. It, um, it has so much power. Uh, it just it takes care of all my needs, and I, I think it all starts with the design. You know, the folks, like I said earlier, at Delta were a big help, making sure that I had enough uh, static pressure, enough velocity, you know, and everything designed properly so that we could we could take care of the dust that uh, we're generating with the different shop pieces of equipment that we have so um, you know it runs on 220 volt uh, I'm running a single phase you can get them in three phase uh, they have all different models off the top of my head running from uh, probably a horse and a half up to uh, three horse and maybe even larger and, and I think they've got some new ones coming out on the market at the moment so they do offer a lot of different sizes that should uh, help most of you with any shop need that you have um, I've done something a little custom that most people don't. Typically this thing can be turned on with this uh, motor controller down here. Mine's not set up that way. The relay on that has been disconnected by a qualified electrician and we've rewired it so that we use uh, three and four way switches up in the shop so I can actually turn this on upstairs from any different um, workstation that I have. So. Uh, you know, if you're interested in that, I've got an article and a video coming out about that. You should be sure to check that out. It's really kind of neat. Very inexpensive to do, I, I might add. So, um, this dust collector here, uh, you know, I've got it set up with a 220 line with a twist lock too, so I can disconnect it. I can wheel this around in the shop, uh, clean up around it, and that's really nice too. Um, hold on a second. I'm going to turn it on so you can hear how loud it is and talk about some of the uh, planning stages of your dust collector if you're, you're kind of trying to set up a shop for the first time. Hey folks, this thing's running now. You can see it's really loud. I wanted to show you this for a reason. I don't care what brand you buy, how big a motor you buy, these things are super loud. That's why it's in the corner of my garage. As far away from my house as I can get it. The noise is a big deal. I've got the opportunity to go somewhere away from the shop. I highly recommend it. this thing works great. I highly recommend it and I highly recommend the folks at Delta. I recently took a visit uh, at their new facility down in South Carolina and these are people who are passionate about woodworking. They're passionate about building machinery to help us do our jobs better. So if you're in the market for a dust collector, I really recommend you check out the Delta dust collectors. You know, especially if, you, if you're setting up a big shop like this, you won't be disappointed. I'm Todd from homeconstructionimprovement.com.